in this country over the last three or four years, it's been noted that in a very small percentage of patients that get a ceramic on ceramic total lip, and some surgeons use a ceramic on ceramic total lip because it wears extremely well. It's better than any bearing surface uh, we've developed for total lip replacements to date. It wears extremely well. There have been some problems with ceramic on ceramics with fracture, but that's been dramatically improved in the last decade with better ceramics. And over the last five years or so, there have been some centers that have documented that in some patients, zero to even up to 7, 20% of patients with a ceramic and ceramic uh, hip replacement can develop a squeaky noise. The exact etiology or cause of the squeaky noise was unknown, so we tried in the laboratory with this visiting fellow to try to look at to see what the potential contributing factors were to a squeaking ceramic on ceramic bearing surface. We feel in patients that have a squeaking on squeaking hip, metal on metal can disrupt the fluid barrier that develops between the ceramic and ceramic bearing surface that should be there and can lead to the audible noise that patients and other people hear in their total lip replacement. Noise about a total lip replacement is not uncommon. Even up to a fifth of patients can have some noise. Usually it's a cracking or crunchy noise from scar tissue around the hip joint. Sometimes it's a click that patients can hear with all types of total lip replacements, metal and plastic or metal and metal. And that click can be from the metal of ceramic ball hitting against the plastic or the metal against metal hitting against each other. But the squeaking is kind of a new phenomenon, and it's a little uh, disturbing to patients to have a squeaking hip. And some patients, uh, although it usually doesn't hurt, it's usually not painful, it usually doesn't limit the patient's activities, it can be a little uh, disruptive in various activities you can imagine when the patients are squeaking. And there's even one patient, a colleague told me, that was an avid golfer. He would squeak every time he bend over to pick up his golf ball, and his foursome began to refuse to golf with him because they were sick of hearing the funny noise coming from this guy's, this fellow's hip joint. So although it's not a painful condition, it can be a rather disturbing condition if every time the patient moves their hip, it makes a loud, audible squeaking noise. There's nothing non-surgically you can probably can do. So some people have the squeak and they live with it. They say it doesn't bother them too bad to have another operation, and so they live with the squeak. We really don't have good data on what we call the natural history of the squeak. So is it possible that someone has a squeak at one certain point in time, is it five years from now, will they still have the squeak? Can the squeak go away? There's not a lot of good data on that, and the reason there isn't is because the rate of squeaking is relatively small. A certain percentage of the patients that have the squeak want their hip revised, and it is probably reliable to change the bearing surface. If you have a squeak, you can change the bearing surface to a metal and plastic bearing surface, which reliably appears to solve the squeak. Um, so it is solvable, with, uh, but unfortunately to solve it most reliably probably takes another operation.